Hello and welcome to another video with yours truly, The Cocktail Guy. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content. Uh, please do not forget to give me a thumbs up if you do like the videos. Smash that bell so you're aware of any new content. Drop any comments below if you have any questions, but please do not forget to subscribe. I would love to see this channel grow. Tell your family to subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. Tell your grandparents, your parents, your kids. Tell them all to subscribe providing they're over 18, because we are dealing with a cocktail or two that does include alcohol. So guys, today, I thought I would make for you another festive riff on a classic cocktail, the Gimlet. Two ingredients, gin and a cordial. Now, lime cordial you can traditionally buy pretty much everywhere. High street shop, online, corner shop, anywhere you like. This drink, I thought we would make our own cordial. What we've got here is some clementines, bang in season, super fresh, super citrusy, uber fragrant, juicy as hell, moorish, but most people throw away these leaves and the skin. I'm gonna be using both. The leaves, I'm gonna be infusing into some gin. Here is one I have literally made earlier. And the cordial, which is here, has been made using the zest, the leftover, another leftover ingredient of clementines. This drink is gonna be stirred down. It's super delicate, it's beautifully fresh and fragrant well worth it. Let's get involved. So the first ingredient I'm going to be using is my gin. Now I have taken uh, Bombay Sapphire I used for this drink. I've taken 250 mils of Bombay Sapphire and 50 grams of clementine leaves. These were washed, cut, added to a mason jar or a sealable plastic container as I have said before and then they have just been left to infuse at room temperature overnight. Around about 12 hours they will start to go a bit like this, you know, like a little bit of a green tinge to it. You can, if you have a water bath at home, sous vide these, it'll take about 45 minutes at around about 55 degrees. It obviously takes a lot quicker if you have the equipment. If you don't, you don't need the equipment, to infuse them overnight, well worth the wait. The second ingredient, this is a clementine cordial. Now this has just been made using water, the zests of six clementines. I've removed the white pith, I've cut them up and then I've zested these into the water, sealed them again in a plastic container, just giving them a little bit of a shake to agitate those aromas, encourage those flavors and infusion. Once these have been filtered, which is about 12 hours later at the same time as the gin, I then add sugar to this. Now this sugar is dependent on your level of sweetness. Personally, I only prefer about 25% of sugar and then I add some citric acid and that acidity kind of really brightens these flavors. You can, if you wish, add the acid. You do not have to. I personally like to add citric acid to my cocktails. This is one that we, we use in the bar. This is a citric acid solution of around 20%, 100 mils of water, 20 grams of citric acid, stirred down, uh, and we do the same for malic acid and also a salt solution, saline solution. These are all brighten flavors and they are beautiful. Anyway, we're going to be adding twenty-five mils. So in here already, we have fifty mils of our clementine leaf infused gin, and then we have twenty-five mils of our clementine zest cordial. I'm going to give this a bit of a stir and a taste. I'm actually going to add a little bit of citric acid in this six drops, just to brighten those flavors. Add some ice, we're gonna stir this drink down. Now this drink is just in two ingredients, so it's really important that our chilling, we're not just, as we're stirring, we're not just chilling and diluting, we're also kind of melding all these flavors together. Chilling a drink is obviously super important, but dilution is also important in a cocktail. Some more ice. So we're looking for about 30 to 45 seconds to stir. Here we go. And my 
lovely martini glass. And there we go. Look at that. Deceptively simple. And then last but by no means least, as I've said it before, the all important garnish. Now garnishing for me is like window dressing. It draws you in. A drink has to look sexy. I know it's strange to say, but a drink has to look appealing. If a drink looks boring and it looks a bit meh, then and meh is a descriptor. Um, if it does look beautiful and fresh, it draws you in and you want to drink it. Uh, but also a garnish serves as an aroma, and aroma is super important. So I'm going to zest drink with a clementine zest over the top of the drink, round the brim, and then down the stem. And there we have it guys, a super simple, what was that, 30, 45 seconds to stir, a super simple riff on the classic Gimlet using the uber fragrant and fresh flavorful citrus fruit of the clementine. Let's give this a go. It does exactly what it says on the tin. It's full of flavor. I love the gin in this. It kind of, it, it brightens this cocktail. It carries that flavor beautifully. I love the addition of the zesty cordial as well. Citric acid, I think for me, is an essential and an integral part of this cocktail. As I said, it brightens the flavor. It's brilliant. It's delicate, it's simple looking, but it's packed full of flavor. Okay guys, I hope you enjoy making it. Uh, as I've said before, please do subscribe to this channel. I would love to see it grow with your help, of course, and thank you very much for those of you who have already subscribed. Smash that bell so you're aware of any new content as it pops up. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up should you like the content and drop me any comments you have below the video if you have any questions. Until the next one, guys. Cheers, see you soon.